So in this video, I'm going to uh, show you six NeoVim plugins that are relatively less known, although I find them really awesome and I use them quite a bit. So starting with the first one, how I have NeoVim by the way on an empty buffer. So the first plugin that we will be looking at is called uh, btw.nvim and its main philosophy is instead of having bloated uh, startup dashboards like vim startify and mini dot dashboard and all of that all you really want is a simple text that says you use neovim by the way so as you can see here it is simple using lazy you just return the url it's available on github then in the config function you either call require by the way dot setup which by default prints i use neovim by the way or you can customize the text which i like it to be neovim by the way so now if i open up my neovim session all it says is that i use neovim by the way which is all i really need now one thing to mention about this plugin is if you use a, a auto session plugin then you will not be able to see neovim by the way but that is true of most uh, dashboards anyway so something to keep in mind uh, the next plugin on the list is called cloak.nm which is i think inspired by the popular vs code uh, cloak plugin which essentially hides the current env file uh, from the editor and if you do any kind of streaming or video recording I would highly recommend you have this so all it essentially does is uh, replaces the .env files values with a random pattern so if I open up a .env right here and I say hello world as you can see I am able to see the hello world although the actual key value itself is destroyed now if you use uh, if you use any kind of a streaming setup I would highly recommend you have this plugin you can always view your uh, keys back by just saying cloak disable or you can even set up some sort of a key binding I rarely use env files uh, once I set them I don't really use them again so I don't really have a key binding for this but you can as well so uh, the way my setup looks for this is I just have a cloak length of three so it only covers uh, it shows up as only three stars because I don't want it too bloated and uh, it highlights it as a comment which I really like and I also set up a few patterns so I want the pattern file to be anything that starts with a dot env because by default it only captures a dot env whereas i use a dot, lot of dot env dot production dot dev stuff like that so another cool plugin for you to consider the next up on the list is registers dot nvim which is a plugin that aims to simplify the usage of neovim resistors resistors if you're not familiar are neovim buffers that are used for different purposes like storing yank text uh, accessing the clipboard etc and the way resistors at nvim helps is it provides a handy little toolbar every time you access resistors and this happens when you click the uh, quotation uh, symbol which uh, is the default way you access resistors in the first place so the way you use resistors is if i want to uh, get line 3 into the B register I would uh, do uh, quotation B YY and now if I check my resistors you will see that the B register has the CMD registers which is a line 3 and now to paste from it I do resistors oops resistors uh, and I want to do from B and paste so that's how you do it. The way Prince simplifies it is uh, first up you get this handy little toolbar and moreover when you are in insert mode you can actually bind a key binding. In my case it's control R and all I do is just scroll. It's as simple as that.
the next plugin that i would highly recommend is called screenkey.neovim and all this does is it provides a inbuilt screen key for well vanity and whatnot because a fair number of people use neovim for the vanity so why not have a screen key to show off how cool you are in screenshots now the primary reason why i use this is because i use Wayland, and in the Wayland ecosystem screen key and all of those utilities just suck and they don't really work well and the only reason i really do use it is for neobim so this replaces the need for that in the first place and it looks pretty cool so if you're not able to see it that is that right there and it you can configure how different keys work and all i don't really have anything binded to it i just use the command screen key more often but I'm sure you can find out more use cases for this. Now for one of the most surprisingly useful plugins that I've come across in the recent months is called snipe.nvim, which I have begun to use a ton. So what snipe essentially does is it assigns different letters to all of the buffers that you have open and you can navigate to them quite easily. So I have it binded to leader and in, uh, and the uh i don't really know what the symbol is called the code symbol i guess so if i press that snipe gives me three options uh starting from s a d so if i want to go to my registers.lua i just press s so and now if i want to go back to my snipe i press d and this and snipe actually remembers this and even if i open up new buffers snipe still knows that s belongs to resistors now this is really similar to harpoon but i prefer to use harpoon when i'm in really large pro uh, projects that require me to have attention to very specific files whereas snipe is just an easy way to get across buffers without having to open up my telescope every time so really simple really fun um, and honestly it has crept its way into my leap flow without even me realizing it the last plugin that i want to discuss and the plugin which i believe is the most up and coming one is called oil and oil is a way to open up your uh, file tree as a buffer and essentially manipulate files in a folder or whatever as you would do a neobim buffer so I have it binded to the dash key in normal mode. So if I press that, you will see a list of all of my plugins. So I can go into a visual line mode, uh, copy all of this. I can actually press C I W and do that. Although I would not have to do that. I can press enter on any one of them and I'll go into it. Now, uh, this has mostly replaced my use of the uh, NeoVim tree or uh, whatever you would like to call it and even telescope because it has become really easy in my muscle memory and I just press a key and it almost feels like I'm using file explorer or Yazi or other CLI uh, file explorers it's quite cool now for me I have uh, delete to trash set to true so instead of completely removing my files it sends them straight to the trash can it's even better i like to have skip confirm for simple edits to be true and also the default file explorer to be false so it just if you want a uh, oil setup like mine those are the options and i also have one simple key binding uh, so this is really awesome let me know if you do use it so that's it for uh this video let me know if you like the format of this type of videos i know my neovem videos generally receive quite a lot of support so thanks for that and i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye